This is pulled away, leg side, and there's going to be a boundary to Daniel Bell Drummond, who's always quick on that pull stroke. It was a quick. There's a repeat of that shot. This one is pulled in front of squares. Seymour in the twos here, you know, your career's done in three. This shot. That is a big shot as to uh, punctuate a very good point from Ivan Thomas. Has that gone over the Frank Woolley? So that is a good response from Daniel Bell Drummond, who looks in the mood as he so often does Top against here at Lords. This one is swung away. Lovely shot from Daniel Bell Drummond. Square, so he's getting across. And he's done it again. So he's uh, going behind square with that sweep. It's nothing important. Here's Laws. And that is a hell of a shot from Tawanda Mie. He's flicked it, and I think he might have gone all the way. Yep, it is a six. That is a quite extraordinary shot from Tawanda Mie. And there's going to be four more. That's not Laws' best delivery. I think that's the best shot of the lot because that wasn't a half volley. In fact, it was back of a length. And Mayaya hit it with a straight bat over middle. He is striking at exactly 200. And he's got that one where he wants it as well. That was more in the slot. Cricket shots. High class indeed from Tawanda Mayaya. He's got previous against Surrey and he's drilled that one straight. So a six and. Change of ends for Dunn. Bell Drummond latches onto that one and hits it into the crowd. So the five and a half thousand strong Ken Faithful getting their money's worth tonight. That is, that is more Mayaya magic through the offside. Off pace delivery from Dunn. Well, Drummond goes big. Is it big enough? Yes, it is. It is over the head of the man at deep mid wicket. So that is 50 for Daniel Bell Drummond. Just 33 balls, five fours, two sixes. Well, that's another wonderful shot. That is hit high, and he's going to go all the way. It was a drag down by Cam Steele, and uh, Wanda Mieye just went up in the second went. half of this innings. It's a top edge. It's gone a long way. It's going to take some catching. Tell you what, if that's caught, cool, that is a brilliant catch. I'm just trying to see who that is down there. He had to go miles for that. That is one of the great catches. I'm going to get another little look at that. That is a, I'm not even sure if it was a top edge. It was just helped. It's Tom Laws running around the boundary. He got it, oh, shin height. And you can see, dead rubber or not, you can see what it meant to him. He even gets chipped by Tawanda, just for the single. And that is going to be his 50, and it's coming double quick time. 25 balls. Five fours, three sixes. That is Mayaye at his best, not for the first time today, taking a liking to the spinners and just going straight. Reverse sweep, nailed by Billings. It's a trademark Billings shot, that reverse sweep. He hits it cleanly. Gone again here. He might get four more, he does indeed. They moved the guy at deep point behind square to stop run rate of nearly 11. He's down the wicket, he's got this one straight, but he's just got all of it. One bounce four, not quite as big as Mayaye. This has been thick edged into Wanda Mayaye. He's got to run right down and just miss our camera. 58, James Vince, the man to go, as has to Wanda Mayaye. So that brings to an end a wonderful innings from Mayaye, 61. Off 31, Tom Laws has got his man, but another terrific innings. And such a talented winder gone for 61, bowled by Tom Laws. Yeah, that's good from Tom Laws. He's, he's been bowling a bit short and wide, but a nice change out there. Really full Yorker, quick as well. This is uh, flicked beautifully by Billings, timed wonderfully well, and he's in good touch. The Cambridgeshire are indeed playing Durham, 100 for five. He swings this one leg side, he's going to get another four. So Laws has bowled some of that. Uh, anyone listening to us has been through that, we sympathise. Billings got hold of this one, just a little flick to the leg side and straight in the crowd. Another maximum for the Spitfires. Billings has gone up, this has gone a long way up. I don't think he's got enough legs on it, underneath it, and taken. Good 
Overton. Oh, it's another brilliant catch. Jamie. Looks like a good move, bringing Dan Lawrence back into the attack. A swing. Just over extra cover. That's a good looking shot, and it finds the gap. So. It is a good comeback from Jordan, but it's still going to reach the boundary. Fast hands from Everson over extra cover. That is great shot from Leaning. Talked about his strong area over mid wicket and towards the flats. Off pace from Jordan. It was like Leaning was expecting the slower ball. Oh, yes, please, from Jack Leaning. Dan Lawrence goes back. He can't go back far enough. That is a fantastic way to round off a wonderful innings from the Spitfires. Just got enough of that, Jax. Not the middle of the bat by... Not going to stop this one, though. Not the middle of the bat, but that will run away down the hill. It's just slowing up, but it gets... It's nice. Dom Sibley. I think he's got that all the way. Nigel... It's turned nicely by Dom Sibley. Another bounce. Also, see someone like Jacks getting more opportunity in the test arena. Even they've already done the job as Jacks just scoops this one nonchalantly over fine, fine leg. That is an emphatic answer from Gilchrist. Jacks tries to repeat the dose, and Gilchrist knocks back middle, sends the England man back to the sheds for 20. And now uh, Gillies clean him up. Yeah, maybe a bit fuller. I, think, uh, I say that as Burns thumps a bit of a drag down in truth from Jack Leaning. That's a good shot from Burns. That's a proper sweep shot. A great bit of work from Tawanda, but no. England had options in that department in the one-day stuff as Singh is into the attack and he's flicked it straight down his throat and gone. So that got onto Jack Leaning pretty quickly. He smiles because that was travelling. Shot from Sibley, hit it well. Jazz Singh is onto the hip, just picked up. And look, look how far he is in. So, yeah, I can't quite believe it. Quite so many scoring opportunities as Burns shapes up here. Let's flick that into the leg side. That's high class shot. Rory Burns has played a couple. One lovely. What a stroke that is from Dan Lawrence. That is high class indeed. Has this kind of form been? In the past few weeks as Lawrence hits high but I don't think he's got enough of it he hasn't Harry Finch with a catch Leaning gets his man he cannot believe Dan Lawrence that he has picked out Finch didn't get the middle of the bat on it and Reardon this one is Paul it's missed time it's going to be another catch as Burns goes this time yeah straight down the throat catching the miscues Evans this is gone Gilchrist takes the simplest of catches Parkinson does what Parkinson does big Gone. Overton, big swing and a miss, adopting the more aggressive approach, and that is the problem with it. Good hold of that one, Chris Jordan. It's a nice looking shot. One bounce and into the gone again. This one straight down the throat of Tawanda Mie. I think that was you can starve to success. Sam Curran goes big this time. Well, I guess while there's Curran, there's hope for Surrey is up he hasn't got hold of this one this could be out again another one caught on the fence and he's gone let's just let the tee go down a bit more the Jazz Singh back into the attack he's been smoked for four by Laws a bit of pace on that's a good answer from Jazz Singh he's got a wicket as well so well bowled just got it over leaning at mid off And he's got him. So Singh does get his third. Marcus O'Reardon with a catch, wraps things up. Sorry, all out 131. Decent night's work from the Spitfires. It was all done with the bat, really. Some canny bowling, good captaincy for Billings. Pace off the way to go.